Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Grace and today we're going to be talking about sleep health which you might be surprised to find out it is directly correlated to your nutrition and things that you do right before bed but also what you do throughout today. So let's dive right into it. Or maybe we should say let's get sleeping <laughs> very soon. It is very late when I'm filming this because thought it would be appropriate to set the vibes right. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there, but vibes. So sleep health. Some of you may be incredibly blessed with the ability to fall asleep right when you want to, when your bed hits, when your head hits the bed. Um, that could be a result of exhausting yourself out throughout the day, having a busy day, and looking forward to resting, but I feel as though a lot of other people struggle to fall asleep, maybe pop in a melatonin, trying to do the right things to get you to bed, and it's tough, but we can all agree. Tossing and turning in bed when you know you have to sleep to get rest for the next day is not favorable and not ideal. I'm sure the last thing you want to hear is be consistent, sleep in the dark, put your bed room in a comfortable temperature, don't look at electronics before you sleep. Those are all given and we're going to assume that those are already known. If you didn't know that, that might be one way that you can start changing up your sleep habits. But did you know what you eat before bed and the combination of foods that you put strategically into your system might be the game changer to having sweeter dreams and faster Z's? So I had to switch up the scenery just a little bit so you can see it's very nice and <laughs> dark out but sleep health is very very individualized as you might have assumed so here are a few things that might help you sleep better and hopefully not wake up in the middle of the night unless you have to pee that one is on you to drink less fluids so keep that in mind if that is something that is discomforting or a reason that you find yourself getting up at night maybe it's worth considering how much fluids you're drinking right before you go to bed. So the biggest tip is that carbs in combination with protein is a great bedtime snack. Of course, don't skip dinner and wait to snack in the midnight hours. You don't want to be going to bed super duper full. That just makes you feel uncomfortable and it'll be harder to fall asleep. According to sleep expert Dr. Shelby Harris, it's a myth to avoid going to bed on an empty stomach. In fact, going to bed hungry might actually make it more difficult to fall asleep. So a small snack that's a mix of protein and carb might be a good option. And let me share a few ideas that might inspire you the next time you go to the store to pick it up. Best snacks include nuts, cherries, seeds, eggs, bananas, low-fat dairy products such as Greek yogurt, and non-caffeinated tea. And let me just touch on a few of these. So banana and milk before bed. You might have heard or seen it. This is because milk contains an amino acid called tryptophan, which has some side effects including drowsiness and can induce sleep. And bananas have potassium, which is a relax inducer that will be beneficial to eat right before bed. The same goes for a sweet potato, which is also rich in potassium. Chamomile tea has something called an epigenin. This is an antioxidant that promotes sleep by binding to sleep-inducing receptors in the brain. It also naturally lowers blood sugar levels, which is an added bonus. And finally, tart cherries. This is different from the regular cherries that you might find. They're a little bit brighter in color and more sour in taste. They're rich in vitamin C and also surprisingly a good source of melatonin. So if you're feeling like you want something more like a fruit at night before you go to bed, that might be a really good option to induce sleep as well. Health in general can't be solved by one small thing. It takes a lot of factors into consideration. So maybe you start off with trying to make and cater your own 
bedtime night routine unwinding routine that might help you get comfortable and ready to sleep or maybe it just comes down to satisfying your craving right before bed the right way so with that i hope you get some rest and have a good night <laughs> <laughs>